Hello guys, just a quick video to uh, tell you that I might consider selling my Stromberg. This is a um, really nice example of uh, uh, Elmer Stromberg's work. He uh, was building guitars from 1927 till 1955 uh, and we think he built about 350 guitars since the first guitar was around the serial number 300 and the last guitar must be uh, 650. It's a really nice nice uh, example which features the original bridge that as you can see has really nice nice uh, uh, screw parts really accessible. It features also its original Groover tailpiece um, the pickguard is a repro of the original uh, from uh, another G1. Mm, it has a really nice three piece F holes that uh, really gives a great, great look. The, the top is, uh, is free of big crack. There's a little something here, a little something there, but a really, a really nice example in fine conditions. The fretboard has been changed. Um, and it features the original Groover um, tuning machines uh, that are in perfect uh, uh, conditions. Uh, it's a really nice, nice blonde, blondie with great, great wood. Um, it's a massive top. Uh, serial number is in the, the late 400s, which uh, make us believe it's from 38 or 39 right before he created the master 400 models and uh, master 300 made popular by um, Freddie Green which features the single diagonal brace that he uh, invented um, this one is one of the it's very very rare since it's one of the very few with parallel brace because he was doing leather brace mainly during the 30s before switching to his single diagonal brace in the 40s. The guitar works great for chord melodies. <laughs> good for rhythm pretty green style also there's a lot of volume although because you can see I'm using a really really thin pick uh, it was great for uh, single notes as well. It works great with the floating pickup as well. <laughs> 